Hello everyone, it's the Wininski here and today I'm going to be talking about some of the latest Call of Duty Advanced Warfare news slash information. So the first thing I want to quickly talk about was yesterday, Michael Acondre, I think he is a some kind of a CEO or something at Advance of Advanced Warfare of Sledgehammer Games, of all that kind of jazzy stuff. He tweeted a picture of a calling card from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare and I'm going to put the picture on your screen now and I just wanted to go over whether I think it's good and what 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 looks good about it and stuff. So first of all, I think it looks cool. I can, you can see here it's kind of like one of the uh, grenades. I don't know what one it is uh, particularly, but it looks quite cool. And uh, these are, if you don't know what a calling card is, it's what you earn from doing challenges. Basically your card background like from Ghost you could have like your patch and the background whereas this is just the background for the calling card for Advanced Warfare so you'd obviously have your emblem and name and rank and stuff like that on the card I'm guessing it might be on the card it might not be but as you can see this is one of the grenades from within Advanced Warfare and I think that looks quite cool personally I think the calling cards uh, look good because they're quite high uh, quality images and uh, they definitely look good I'm hoping they can do what they did with Black Ops 2 where they kind of had animated ones because I thought that looked really epic but you never know they might do that in the future I don't want them to be like ghosts because ghosts was the patch and then the calling card and to me it just seemed quite bland like the background and the patch sorry not the calling card and I I didn't really like that I didn't really like how ghosts did camos and uh, extra stuff like that I just thought it was a bit boring and it could be a little bit more exciting like it was in Black Ops 2 I thought that was really cool I thought it was really well done so that's enough from that. I'll put a link to the Charlie Intel page talking about it down in the video description. And next off, I want to talk about the feature, the possibilities of there being a nuke or KEM or Moab type kill streak within Advanced Warfare. Now, Ali A did a video on this and I watched it and I just wanted to share my views on how this is. Personally, I think what they should do is have like a KEM for like you should get like a KM slash Moab one that doesn't end the game if you get a 25 kill streak with kill streaks like if for example like Modern Warfare 2 like the nuke from Modern Warfare 2 but do that at 30 so if you get kills with your kill streaks you can get that it's really complicated because I don't know how it would work but I just think that should be done like you can get a 25 gun streak to get a nuke maybe that would end the game or a KM if you use kill streaks. Like if you want to use just your gun and get a gun streak and get a nuke to end the game, you can do that. But if you want to get one with your kill streaks, I think there should definitely be some reward whilst using kill streaks to earn towards a big streak. Because otherwise once you've got all your kill streaks, instead of just cycling through them, you might as well die. Whereas in Modern Warfare 2 that gave you quite something quite exciting to aim for I know you had to set it as one of your streaks maybe even you have to do that so that you kind of work your way up to get that big streak that gets like a KM or a Moab so that would be like your 25 and then you could have like a 10 and a 5 kill streak or even in advanced warfare because I know you can have four if you go for the wild card you could have like a, a UAV the equivalent to a predator missile, a chopper gunner, and then like a nuke slash KEM that wouldn't end the game when you earn it. Or you could just go on a gun streak and go for a nuke which would end the game. That's what I think you should be able to do. So there should be two different ones in there. One that ends the game and one that doesn't. But that's just what I think. And I think if they don't decide to go for a KEM slash nuke slash Moab as one of the high kill streaks. I'm not really complaining because uh, I never get one anyway. I'm not the kind of guy that can sit there. I could get the high streaks and get all the all the score streaks given the right weapon and the right map and stuff like that. But I can't physically sit here and sweat my bollocks off and get all shaky and nervous trying to get a 25 kill streak. I I just can't do that. I've done it once. I did it on Modern Warfare 3. I got a Moab within. Uh, I don't know if you know the game mode Money in the Dank where people used to get juggernauts and stuff like that and you basically had to carry the bomb and stuff to certain points in the game I think that's how it worked but I didn't actually do it in the juggernaut suit I actually just managed to do it because what was good about that was all the classes were balanced because there was only three set classes or three or four set classes within that so I could play to the strengths of the classes 
sorry, like I was using an M4 so I could use long range, short range, close range, stuff like that, whereas people are, other people were using a, an SMG or a sniper. That's just how I managed to do that because it was all balanced. But given like a normal regular map, no way. I can't go that far and do that. However, I can get a nuke and stuff like that. But if, if they do add it in and there is just a KEM at 30 gun streak, I'm not going to be fussed. It's always like when you see one of those go off in the game, it's like, oh, that guy's good. Whereas if in Ghosts, when it was, you could get it from a care package, I just thought it was a bit stupid. And uh, I don't think they should do that with the care package thing, but I think you should definitely put some kind of high score streak in there, like a nuke or a KEM. But that's just my views. So my name has been The Wodinski. I do Call of Duty videos and news and stuff like that. Be sure to subscribe and check out the videos on the screen at the end. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out the links in the description. And I will see you soon for another Call of Duty video. I'm going to be doing some more news because it's actually quite fun to do. And I like it. So be sure to check out everything else. And I will see you soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Let's go.